I'd like to begin, begin by just very briefly uh, reviewing the situation as I see it in Europe. Uh, to be clear, what is happening in Europe has ramifications across the globe, uh, certainly including the United States. Here was the front page story in the Washington Post last week. IMF fears European crisis poses risk of major recession. The article highlights the International Monetary Fund concern that the turmoil in Europe could have serious consequences for the global economy. Yesterday, we saw reports that European leaders had agreed to new measures to address the debt concerns in their countries. Here was the New York Times headline on the agreement. European leaders agreed to new measures to enforce budget discipline. Most economists believe the Eurozone is already in recession. We can see the blue chip forecast shows Eurozone economic growth falling from anemic 1.6% in 2011 to a negative uh, four tenths of 1% in 2012. The threat to the U.S. economy is clear. Here is how economist Alan Blinder, the former vice chairman of the Federal Reserve, described the situation in his testimony before the Budget Committee last week. My rough outlook for U.S. GDP growth in calendar year 2012 is about 2.5 percent. The biggest threat to the economy is financial contagion from Europe. If we get a worst-case scenario, a European financial blow, a blow-up that looks somewhat like Lehman Brothers, I think most, if not all, of that putative 2.5 percent growth could just evaporate in a worldwide recession. I hope people are listening. If Europe implodes, the risk to our economy is serious. We need to remember that almost one quarter of U.S. exports go to our European trading partners. So what happens to the European economy could have a very real impact on U.S. manufacturers and U.S. workers.